welcome back so in this session we will see how we can install and set up the IntelliJ with respect to the Java and also the Maven because we are going to create a Selenium Java project by using a Maven build tool actually and in this system uh, we don't have any setup yet ready I have only downloaded the Java uh, so if you if you are on Mac operating system then the Java will be pre-built or it is coming out of the box but when you go for the first time it might ask you to download the Java so we will see how we can download the Java and also set up the Maven and install the or use the IntelliJ IDE to write a sample Selenium JavaScript using Maven uh, project. Okay, so that is what we are going to see and everything from scratch. Okay, so in this system, I don't have Maven. I only downloaded the IntelliJ IDE, which is pretty much simple. So if you just go to IntelliJ download and if you click on this one, you will get the community edition and if you click on this download as usual file you will get it I mean be it on Windows or Mac operating system you can download and install okay there is nothing much uh, to discuss about that and for Java so before moving to that so I have written a blog about these three blogs especially set up Java and Maven create a maven project and add the dependencies and even first selenium test by using maven and test ng so all these four uh, different what you call blocks uh, step by step we will see in this video session okay so let's get started so first thing uh, like as i told i have already java set if i say java version and you can see the version is the 11 version and if you're not sure where to download this one okay so you can go to this particular link if i click on this one then here you can see java version hyphen version which we have seen if you are not sure and if java is not yet installed in your machine you can redirect to this java se so here you can see based on your platform whether it is windows or mac it will give you that particular uh, what do you call setup directly the file which you want to download so at this moment i have installed the latest stable version of the java se and here you can see jdk download if you click on this one it will ask you for the login here you can see specific to your operating system it will list out if you are on mac you can use this x 64.bin.dmg file that is the uh, the uh, dmg file is the uh, exe file for your mac operating system the same thing you can even use uh, this x64 bin exe file if you are using a x64 bit um, what do you call your windows operating system you can just click on this one it will download so for an instance if i click on this you have to click on this agreement and then download this one and it might ask you for a login credentials you can just use your uh, you can sign up by using create account if you have a an already oracle account you can just uh, use the username password and when you sign in it will redirect to the same page and you can download that and after download just click on that particular file so it might be uh, coming to your downloads uh, directory you can just uh, open that one and then click on that and then you will be all set with the java okay so we have installed the intellij and also java here okay after that to test it you can just go to the terminal or command prompt in your uh, uh, windows operating system okay so one thing on your windows operating system you have to set up a system variable for java yeah, uh, for java in mac it is not required if you are using for uh, windows operating system you have to use this particular path here you can see so variable is the path you can go to the uh, so if you see we have already one set up here if you go here it will give you the detail about how will you go to the advanced system settings and after that you have to go to the user variables click on new or if it is a path you can just click on this one and then click on edit put a colon 
and then you can add a new one or else you can just click on this new and add a path path capital and then give the path of your java file so that java file we will be so all your java once you install that it will be inside the program files and whatever the jdk version you have installed there will be a bin folder so copy this entire thing and then paste it under this variable when you click on new for mac operating system as i said there is no setup required okay you can just install as a normal application and then go to your terminal and say java hyphen space hyphen version okay and you should be seeing the version of your java whichever you installed be it on windows or mac operating system okay so the second thing is that set up maven how will we set up because normally to maintain your jar files and to execute your test cases we are using maven and maven is very good build tool you can you can use a set of test cases you can put it inside a test ng dot xml and by using maven commands you can run that test ng and this is basically helpful for local run and also if you want to execute in the Jenkins you can use command line maven mb and space you can say test and then hyphen few of the uh, parameters will be there by using those parameters you can run your test cases and another benefit as I told is the managing the libraries like few of the jar files will be there so that uh, you need not to download all the required jar files and then keep it into a particular folder and then when the version upgrades again download that and override which is kind of a difficult part right so maven does that for us so we will be seeing uh, maven is providing a pom.xml file where you have to just mention the library name and the version and it will download automatically the jar files and keep it into a specific location so whenever you are handing over your uh, what you call framework or the code base to somebody you need not to include those jar files you have to just send that pom.xml and the next person who is taking your code base they can download specific to those libraries and versions so that your code can work properly without any compatibility issue uh, even though you are a beginner but uh, please use the maven as much as possible because most of the organizations they use either maven or gradle okay so if you see this maven where to download the maven if i click on this one and then navigate to this page and if you scroll down you can see under files section there is a binary zip file okay so if it is a tar file then you have to use for windows uh, sorry for mac operating system this is for mac operating system and dot zip file is for your windows operating system so if you click on this one it will download that particular file so i don't have that maven yet installed so how do i know if i do mvn and then version it still says command not found it means that it is not installed in my machine because it's a fresh installation i'm doing all the setup i'm doing so for this what i will do and even if you go to this uh, block setup it is giving these things also right so as you can see here if you are on windows operating system zip file unzip it and then keep it into a setting location that's that much of straight and then at the end we will see how we can set up the environmental variables but because i'm using mac so for that i have to use this dot tar dot gun zip file so gz means gun zip okay and the command to extract but before to that let me download this particular file bin dot tar right so if i click on this one let's wait for some time and it downloaded now if i go to my download location it will be like in a gunji format only now what i will do here i have to navigate to my terminal because i have to unzip it so for that i have to use this particular command so before to that let me go to the terminal clear everything oops sorry clear and here what i will do i have to go to my downloads folder right if i put ls here you can see space downloads okay sorry downloads and if i list out i will be seeing all the application here folders so if you go to this one if i copy this particular file 
and then I will say here space and then here I will be unzipping my file that is Apache so here you can see and then enter it and then it unzipped everything and where it is putting it is putting inside the downloads folder let's see that let me open the download and if I go inside this you can see all the files are there required files so what I will do here I will copy this one and I will go to my home folder so go and home and here I will paste it okay so that nobody can touch because if you keep it in downloads folder sometimes it is a problem it is a chance that you will be deleting everything so keep it on a safer location the same thing on windows whenever you are downloading and unzipping that keep it on your users folder or don't put on the desktop or somewhere put it under some software folder so that you can easily access that because we have to even use this one to uh, use in our environmental variable so that that particular maven command will be useful across anywhere on your uh, system you need not to like specify the complete path of the maven command okay so we have extracted and put it under two specific folders now coming to the windows uh, you have to set up maven underscore home all in capital letters and it will be like whichever path you are keeping let's say that you are keeping under this path by using the same thing this way you can keep that okay and then if you are using mac operating system there is a bit uh, uh, what do you call it? you have to open a file and edit it so for this if you are using mac cataluna version then instead of bash profile so if you are using an older version of mac operating system you will be getting a dot bash file okay and if you are using the latest version that is catalina and you will be getting something called as dot g profile so where it is written it's a hidden file dot means it's a hidden how do you uh, display all the hidden folders again go back to your home folder you have to press command shift and greater than and you can see all hidden folders are now populating and something you will see here but so at this moment because it is a new system I don't have that particular file so if I don't have what I can do I can use a Vim uh, editor to do that and then let me go to the terminal and then clear everything let's go to the desktop so cd and then let's go to the home folder and this should be my home folder yes and here what i will do i will say touch and then i will say dot g profile let me try this way yeah definitely you will be getting all these issues so that's why i thought i will make a video on the real time to how this exactly the problems we are getting so even though i did before i'm still getting few of the problems here and then if i go to this okay as you can see the g profile file is created and after this what i will have to do i will have to uh, use the vim command to edit this particular file so if i do here you can see and then you have to type it manually okay and then you have to say export okay m2 underscore home equal to and then you have to say users and then you have to say your username and then you have to give the file path or the file name because i have on directly on the uh, what do you call on the username path so i'm giving like this and then again export and here i will say path equal to and dollar sign and then path variable colon and then again dollar and then here you have to say m2 underscore home slash bin folder okay now everything is done you have to escape and then click on uh, colon and save and quit so save and quit is wq okay you are done with that now if you open this one let's now open this file and you can see so hopefully now we will be getting the maven command properly so now maven version oops still it is not there so let me just do one thing okay so it is still I can do one thing echo and then if I do path let's see if it is coming or not so as you can see the path variable is not coming it should come the maven path and then slash bin so 
there is some problem it means that is still that um, G profile is not yet set so if I open here as you can see it is giving me some error on the G profile only like bad assignment now let's see what is that problem I am getting so for this again let me go back to the home folder and here let me open the G profile and if I see here and uh, let's do one thing uh, let me not give any double quotes and also this equal to let's not give any space uh, these things and then let me save it okay so after i'm done with that let's see again let me open the terminal newly you can see the error is gone so it means that now the path will be holding proper maven path let's see now you can see here apache maven bin it means that my maven command will now work from anywhere yes see here you can see so apache maven 3.6.3 .3 it is coming so it means that uh, i have my java set so if i see java version it is giving me the java and then the maven and then even i told like intellij i have already downloaded from the specific location which i was showing you guys before and because this is for first time you know and let's say don't allow notifications and you will be getting something like this let's do a confirmation don't send anything and let's go with the darker mode and next and then okay let's go to the lighter for now and then default i think that should be fine all the default plugins and then let it be like this and then i don't want to install anything just start the intellij okay and this is the dialog first it is showing and you can just click on the new project and I believe the Maven is already here. So IntelliJ picked up the Maven. And here you can see the it is already picked up the Java also, whichever Java we have. Because I told if in Windows you have to set that path variable and for Mac it is taking automatically. So your IntelliJ will pick up the Java, uh, Java version from the specific location that you have provided in the system or environmental variables okay so now i'm clicking on this maven if you want to go with a normal plain java project you can click on this one or else click on this maven so at this moment i want to go with the maven and then click on next and here um, let me choose a location here so for this uh, under this under this home folder let me create a new folder and i will say automation projects some name i'm giving create it and then choose that path here and for this uh, we need a group id and an artifact id let's do one thing so here what i will do i'll create a new folder and i will say sample selenium and then that is something i want to choose here so maven project as usual and here location it should have been picked up properly okay this location and here artifact is uh, this one okay leave as it is everything or else what you can do you can even put a here this slash and then enter whatever name you are putting here fine and then finish it now i'm getting a sample and then here few things like you can even increase the font of this so real quick let me go to that and then here something on the appearances you can see uh, the theme is there but i think it is on the editor view and if you go to here there is something called as font and it should be here font size yes 13 let me put it as 15 so that it will be apply okay it is applying 
and then click on OK. OK, now the, you can see a bigger font here. So you can even uh, minimize this one. So initially I was telling it's a Maven project is having a pom.xml. So this is where we will put all the required libraries and the version of that particular library. And here you can see source main and test. So there will be two folders created. One is uh, SRC is your main folder. I mean from where all of your code will start. But there you have have two folders again I mean packages basically main and then test normally under main Java we will be keeping all our what you call the utility methods or else uh, starting the web driver like if it is in terms of the uh, what you call framework perspective all the common stuff we will be keeping here and all the test cases and the page objects will be under this test Java folder okay and this is uh, kind of a standard everybody is following but you can just delete this Java folder and you can use even under this main and test package itself you can create as many as package by right clicking on this and if you put new you will get all of these things like a file you should be getting some packages as well so if I go here and you can see under Java you can create package you can pre create a Java class and all these things okay and another thing now let's see if testng is installed or not in this the intellij testng plugin is not required but before proceeding let me get all the required uh, uh, libraries and specific versions for the selenium and testng okay so because i'm using java i have to use the selenium hyphen java packages okay so here you can see first we have done this one second one also we have done now let's go to the dependencies and plugins required for the maven related now if i go here you can see so this is my actual pom.xml which i need so for time being let's do one thing uh, from here so you can see a uh, few of the dependencies that is required so selenium java so if i go here and let me go to my project and under this okay there is a dependencies you have added it means that you have to add a dependencies close okay close tag now this is related to the alpha 6 version which is the latest selenium 4 version i'm giving and then let me even copy paste the test ng also okay and then here as well so it is not uh, mandatory that you have to copy it from here this is just a sample pom.xml which i'm showing like whatever the required like for the extent report for the log related for the uh, excel sheet related so depending on the requirement what is the thing you need you can get it but there is a mvn repository site is there if you know the specific library you can search it like for an instance if i search with selenium java and then you have to just come here and search and you can see the latest version you can see the latest version is 4.00 alpha 6 version just copy this entire section and then paste it into your uh, project okay and then few of the plugins are also there if you go bit down you can see under build tag you can even use few of the plugins and these plugins are basically required again to handle your what do you call the test ng xmls if you have okay now you can see everything is coming red because we have just copy pasted this one but did not really download the jar files okay so for this if you have installed already maven and your intellij if it is detecting you can see the extreme right top corner there is something called as maven and if you expand this one you will get something called as a life cycle so install is something it will install all the packages that you are giving in your pom.xml so you here you can see based on the bandwidth uh, it will take some time and then it will download all the required jar files and by the time it is downloading let's see where exactly these files are downloading these jar files to know that you can go to the preferences and if you come here you will see something called as tools and here if you go there is something called as build or something let me go to that uh, build execution build tools 
maven yes so this is the uh, what do you call section where you can see all your jar files where exactly it is saving so if you see here the local repository is under this home folder there is something a hidden folder is the dot m2 directory under that there is a repository okay so let me go to that so first let me go back so here because i have already showing the hidden folders dot m2 folder under this repository and here you can see before at the beginning nothing was there now by downloading all these things these files are coming and even you can see those things also let me go to the organize org and if you see selenium hq and if you go to the selenium all the selenium jar files you can see under this okay so whenever you are using driver.get or web driver all those things are coming from the specific jar files by importing those files so all these things are managed under this repository if you want to change this repository to some other location you can change that in the settings.xml so for this i have written a blog if under this link yeah so if you go down here you will see this link here okay so if you don't or if you don't want to keep under this m2 folder you can click on this link and this will explain the details about the settings.xml what you want to change the local repository path you want to change once you change that instead of the dot m2 folder the location that you are specifying that location all your jar files will be downloaded here you can see the path whatever you are giving but i would recommend to keep it inside the dot m2 folder uh, because this uh, this folder will not literally go to some other person or else whenever you are pushing to your code to the git repo or tfs repo it will not even copy all these things it will just copy all your test cases only okay so th this is one of the benefit of maven right that you don't want to give all the jar files it might take some uh, gigs of uh, what do you call memory and the portability is not that flexible right so that's why you can just send this uh, what do you call this pom.xml and you are done with that then the next person who is taking your code they will just install the maven and click on this install double click on this one and then the way i got it here your friend will also get the same thing all these things so there is some error here let's see what is that error okay so it is some problem with your uh, surefire plugin see the reason it is saying it is not able to find the path actually here so for this we need to add a properties tag so if you see in this uh, section we have mentioned something as properties so let me go to that if you see here so this is what you need to add an extra actually so if i go to this one and then add this properties now hopefully if i yeah you can see the error is gone now because it is finding for this variable and this variable is basically coming from here so the test ng xml or the path basically the test ng xml will be on your project folder but if it is in inside any of the other folder you can just put that folder slash test ng xml and here if you see even there are two options you can handle this uh, what do you call uh, this versions actually so some people what they keep because if you see in here we are using so many different dependencies now every time you can't just scroll and then go to this specific uh, what do you call libraries and update the version number right so for that what you can do you can use this method actually here now for an instance let me do one thing i will say that uh, selenium hyphen version and then here instead of this uh, let me copy paste this particular version and then here i need not to mention this one let me show you that how to achieve okay here mention but here what you need to do put it as a variable actually so for that you have to keep a dollar and then curly braces inside this you have to keep this selenium version even you can do this one now next time whenever you are changing the version you need not to scroll down to this dependencies instead of that you can just directly come here and whatever the version it is coming 7 8 or the actual 4.00 version you can just keep it here but you have to come back to here and then install that package that is one of the benefit you can get it
okay so there are so many things like we don't want to cover in this session because this is pretty much the basic stuff how you will be get started okay so now here what i will do i will create a new java class okay i will keep it as a sample test and here what i will do i will keep a, a test and this basically comes from the if my test ng is uh, already there then i can access okay it is asking for okay i think the test ng is not properly loaded but why uh, maybe it is not yet set properly let me compile again okay and then if i do install let's see if anything is pending for some reason it is not picking the jar files so let me do one thing maven and if i do install okay there is some error again coming okay so test ng xml it is not able to find a test ng xml probably due to that not a problem we can create a dummy test ng xml file and then keep that as it is so now if i go here and this is testng.xml right now let's install all the libraries and uh, plugins okay still it is throwing error okay you know what the xml file also it is throwing error so i'll do one thing let's not make it as complicated for the beginning uh, beginning stuff what i can do even i can disable this one at this moment uh, like instead of this one i can just make this shoot.xml for now let's comment this one okay and then install again okay as you can see it installed everything if not there is one more option actually i think this uh, for some reason the files are not showing here so you can right click here and you can see maven and you can say reload project so let's see now if it is coming set in files or not yes now you can see once you reload the project test ng is coming here now i will say public void and here i will say something maybe test one and then i will just write something maybe a out this is to print something and i will say something here and then how to run this one uh, let me just put everything in a proper way and to run this one i can even right click on this and run test one now if everything goes well it will run properly but there is again some error let's see okay let me just delete this one and let me rerun again okay here you can see it is running properly but we are going to see selenium specific right so now at this moment what i will do i will put web driver and you can see web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and for this what i will do i will use a web driver setup actually where it will download all the specific files so i need not to use that so there is something uh, if you go here web driver manager okay and if you go here and let me copy all of these things and this is all useful for everyone and here what i will do i will go to the dependency and i will keep it and the same thing you have to go to the maven install so that it will install everything that particular library so every time you change something better to go to the maven install it it will download everything from there and then right click and reload the project okay now here right click go to this maven and reload project okay fine now if you go here manager you can see web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay if you do like this then it will be giving all uh, i mean you need not to set the chrome driver path actually depending on your version it will directly come here and driver dot get and then you can just give any site https colon slash slash dot io some url i am giving 
and then I'm saying thread dot sleep and then let's keep three seconds and it should uh, throw an exception so I will be adding that exception here and then if everything goes well it should run the test case properly okay so as you can see it is coming oh I don't know why it is coming maybe we will do one thing let's close this one and let's not give this www sometimes that is causing the problem so if I run this test again and then here you can see it loaded the web browser here that's how you can use the selenium okay so that's pretty much about how you can set up the java and then maven and then use the intellij ide to do all this troubleshooting and then at the end you can able to execute the sample code okay so okay that's pretty much about it so hope this helps at least for the beginners or the folks those who are setting up newly their machine but getting stuck in somewhere you can just refer to this uh, video and then get sorted out okay so stay tuned we will be seeing some more selenium features and practices and we have already seen few of the selenium 4 new features so go into the, those videos i will put that uh, link into the description below and stay tuned Thank you for watching.